Um, okay, I went too far. Went too far. Is it down this way? Yes, yes. Thank you for having these streets cleared out. I'm a little nervous about that, but I'm also happy about not having to fight more people. There we go. You guys, I still need to fight. I didn't need your blood. There we go. Yeah, you guys were way easier this time. That, that experience was worth it. I felt like, I still feel like a terrible person, but that experience was worth it. <laughs> okay, let's find this scarf. Oh, that's right. You guys. Come on, do it again. Blood. Where'd the beast go? Oh, he's still there. Who's shooting at me? There's a rat. Their hideout? I believe I'm doing this. Shush, Reed. Just shush. Back up, back up. Oh, I'm out of stamina. Whoa! No, no, no! Well, that was weird. And I'm out of stamina again. Jeez! No! I need to do this! Shit! Doing. Just die already. Did you die? <sighs> Thank you. Let's get this. No, I, I don't need the influenza poster. I wanted that. Am I still considered in hostile territory? That's why my health isn't refilling. Let's walk this way, see if that'll help. Is it not gonna refill? Is this just what I have to deal with? Great. Great! I could run back toward Whitechapel, I guess. This is Whitechapel. I could run back to Pembroke. <laughs> Shit, I stunned the wrong one! Bite him. Where the hell are you? There you are! Son of a- Yeah! Ha! 
found the scarf. Thank goodness. It has details. A beautiful and warm woolen scarf with a traditional Romanian, Romanian pattern. Oh, if this quest is glitched. guy oh i can't even talk to him that's right so it doesn't matter there's a certain character but he won't even let you inside until you're mesmerist level three so we do have to go this way eventually but i'm gonna give this woman her scarf back should i try to fight these guys no i could prop i no no now i'm good i just want to give this woman her scarf that's all i want all I want. Is that her? Oh wait, 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 wait. I gotta give it to you. Good evening, Doctor. Can I help you? Yes, please work. Uh news of the dispensary? Have you any news of Nurse Crane and her dispensary? It appears the dispensary is now a major source of contagion in Whitechapel. Really? Someone should do something about it. But no one cares. Huh. Oh, I can't give you... Come on! No! Ugh, damn. So sleeping did mess it up. Shit! Alright, maybe I can... Some people have had success listening to his dialogue again. So let me see. Uh... Was it wise to become so intimate with a woman you were supposed to interview, Clayton? Maybe it was. But I have learned to look for the inner truth and beauty in people. You're right. I know little of your situation. What can you tell me about Christina? She is very sensitive. So nostalgic about her country. I saw her cry once because she'd lost a precious souvenir from her homeland. What was it? The scarf her brother gave her before she came to England. Why are you so concerned? You seem to have something on your mind, Mr. Darby. That we could make peace if I could find it and give it back to her. But I'm afraid she lost a scarf somewhere during her night shift. Okay. Let me go Goodbye, back. Goodbye, Mr. Darby. Farewell. Let me try one more time. Please, Good game. Evening, Doctor. Can I help you? Please? Ah, oh, son of a... <sighs> Damn it. Nope. Nope. Goodbye, Mr. Darby. Farewell. I've never completed this quest appropriately, so you're supposed to... There's supposed to be an option to give it to him, and then he will give it back to Christina. That's the only way to get that final hint, and now we can't get it. Good evening, Christina. Change your mind, Mr. Reed? No, here's your scarf. Could this be the scarf? You lost, Miss Popper. It is much more than a scarf to me. It is the only thing that connects me to my family and my country. Thank you so much. Yeah, I couldn't have. Yeah, so I don't get hers either. I can't, can't do it. Any news of the dispensary? What do you know about Nurse Crane and her dispensary? Two girls I know went to the dispensary yesterday. Nobody has seen them since. I worry about them. In case bad things happen. Goodbye, miss. Take care of yourself as best you can. Should have I should have waited. <laughs> should have waited to do that quest. Let's see if I can get anybody to go for a walk. You gonna go for a walk, Joe? Go for a walk. Go no. Wait, what? Here we Oh! You're here. Good evening, sir. Do you remember me? If you're here for a reward, you'll be sorely disappointed. But I'll gladly shake the hand of a fellow countryman. I'm not here for a bounty. I'm a doctor. Dr. Reed from the Pembroke. A doctor? In Whitechapel? What an opportunity. My name's Bates. Cadogan Bates. Do you require assistance, 
Mr. Bates. Not me, but your skills could help a lot of people round here. That would help my business, because I say a live tenant's a paying tenant. Hmm. Any news of the dispensary? Have you heard anything about Nurse Crane and her dispensary? Not really. I'm not convinced. Why am I not convinced? Maybe it's because you lack faith. Being a skeptic must be useful for a man of science. Hmm. Here. Since I took an oath to help people, <laughs> can I be of assistance? Well, seen better days, that's for sure. But it was bound to happen with all these refugees about. Oh, good lord. Infecting you is probably the last thing on these people's minds. Take this in any case. What? You give me this for free? <sighs> Don't have a clue about this place, do you? I should have waited till the end, but... What help could I be to your business? What help could I possibly be to your business? That's simple. I already get good money from all those fleeing the war. Can you imagine what they'd be willing to pay if I could offer medical assistance to... Mr. Bates, do not make me regret saving your life in this quarantine zone. I understand, Dr. Reed, you're from a good family. Don't want to get your hands dirty. That's fine. I'll be happy to act as your middleman. Mm-hmm. I'm not interested. If I were entering into the world of street medicine, it would be on my terms and without such dubious associates as yourself, Mr. Bates. So it's a no, then. That's too bad. The reed tonic could have really helped people, you know, save lives. Isn't that what you do? I mean, people buy that swamberer's shit. <laughs> you don't see... What, what is your business, exactly? What is your business, exactly? I offer fair lodgings for a modest price to the poor and weary of Whitechapel. I'm sure. I see. And what about those who cannot pay? Well, deals can be done, if you know what I mean. Money's not the only currency. After all, I'm not immune to a pretty face. Uh-huh. You take advantage of them. In other words, you take advantage of these poor lost souls. Begging your pardon, I thought you was a man who could appreciate the complexity of the modern world. Things ain't just black and white, you know. Mm-hmm. Thoughts on London's situation? Tell me, what's your honest opinion of the increasing violence in London? People are just beginning to discover what we've always known. This city's rotten to the core. They just took their bloody time to wake up and notice it. What do you mean? People are acting like the violence is news. But it's always been savage down here. It just bubbles to the surface every now and again. You don't seem happy? It's unusual to see someone so happy around oh. here. Especially considering the current situation. <laughs> Why should I be sad now? There've always been wars, disease, tragedy. There always will be. That's an unusual way of seeing things in these trying times. I don't see why I should shed a tear for another man's woes. I'm healthy and I intend to stay so. Mm-hmm. You're, you're mesmerizes. Your your mental capacities, uh, I should say, willpower is not very high. <laughs> um, still think about your attack. You seem to have recovered well since your attack. Do you ever think about what happened to you? Not much. It was a fucking nightmare. Savages, absolute bloody savages. Their appearance, Jesus, made me want to puke. You'd better not come back here. I won't be around next time to save you. Why did you really get attacked? I want to know everything about the recent violence, Cadogan. And I want the truth. Well, rent may be a bit high, and yeah, I've had to evict a few people. But that's business, isn't it? You're a Scrooge. <laughs> Even you don't deserve such a cruel fate. I wish I'd only found you later. Ah, uh, do, does it matter? I don't think it matters. Take this as my final warning. You will not profit from the misery of others. Business is one thing, but what you do is quite another. Really? What you gonna do? You ain't from here. You ain't Whitechapel, Doctor. You wouldn't know the first thing about playing dirty, even if you wanted to. You might want to rethink that. 
Have you heard anything? Not really. Sure you know more. A man such as yourself, knee deep in the muck of Whitechapel, must know more. Speak now. Heard it closed after the owners died. Refugees don't want to come to Whitechapel no more. Scared, I hear. You sound disappointed. As long as she was there at the dispensary, it attracted more immigrants and kept my place full. Such a shame. Mm-hmm. Alright, we got all your hints. You're not worth much. Goodbye, Mr. Bates. Mr. Bates. Evening, Doctor. Mm-hmm. I'm, I'm just gonna take care of you. Let's just go this way. Um, I'm sure it's... We shouldn't need to find too much of a secluded back alley. Come on. deserve such punishment. My only regret is that no one will mourn me. Hey. For I have never been loved. Well, that's that's probably the most moral thing you've ever said. I was where was I going? I was trying to find what's this? Oh, that's right. Okay, we do need to do that. Um, I thought that he was a character that we hadn't talked to yet. I did want to ask you a question. Its effectiveness has been proven by... Good evening, my dear colleague. Any news of the dispensary? Have you any news on Nurse Crane and her dispensary? It seems her dispensary isn't so busy nowadays. Good thing for the Swanborough cordial. Hmm, that's all you have to say. Goodbye, Miss Swanborough. Perhaps we'll talk again. Should have checked her mesmerized level. Are you gonna go for a walk? Can I get you to go for a walk? You moved. I mean, that's something. You're not sitting there anymore. Can you go? No, that's not what I want you to do. Oh! You are going for a walk. going over here. Can I jump down, Reed? There you go. Come. Little children, I'll take thee away. <laughs> what are you, what are you doing? Excuse me, sir. Excuse me. You better keep moving. Excuse me. It's not working. You, you clearly lack the skill. The wet boots will be proud of me. No. It's, it's not working, Albert. Step away from the door, please. Albert. There you go. Thank you. Uh, yeah, I know. I'm just not sure where I need to be for this one. He's up there. I'm not sure how to get him. Up here, maybe? Oh, inside? Wait, where's the door? Is there a door? Where do I need to go? Ah, this way. Oh, there it is. Harmo nil for severe anxiety and nervous disposition. 
Thanks for nothing, old fart. I'll get a good price for your precious pills. He kind of needs those. He kind of needs those. I mean, I don't know how well they're helping him, but... It's gotta be better than nothing, right? How do I get out of here? I jumped down here, how do I leave? There we go. Excuse me, sir. How are you, boy? I'm not your boy, all right? Now piss off. Any news about the dispensary? Have you heard anything about Nurse Crane and her dispensary? Never heard of her. Oh, okay. All right. Fine. Oh. Okay, nothing there. About your relationship with your father. It is clear that you have a somewhat contentious relationship with your father. Oh, really? Nothing clever to say. He's an alcoholic. That must make life difficult. Oh, no, it's perfectly fine. No money, no home, no friends to lend a hand. My father should have died in France. Hmm, that's really hard. Uh, apparently, we have to select this. War can change you. I have seen many men who have lost their wits on the battlefield. I'm not going to lose any more time with that drunken ass. Me? I prefer to take my chances with the wet boot boys. No, that's really not a smart decision, Albert. Why steal your father's medication? Why do you want to join a gang? Why do you want to join a gang, Albert? I'm not going to spend the rest of my life sleeping under bridges. I understand that living in poverty may be a doorway to a life of crime. But you are still young enough to turn back. I'm not a child anymore. I'm old enough to do what needs to be done. Mm, by stealing your dad's medication? You're not old enough for the death penalty. Choose a better path. Ugh, that's hard. That's, that's easy to say, but it's hard to do. This isn't the solution. Crime may seem easy. A quick way to riches, but it's a quicker way to the end of a rope. My world may be small, Mr. Fancy Pants, but at least here I'm king. You're not. You are most definitely not. And the wet boot boys think you're dumb, so come on. Why did you try to steal your father's medication? Why shouldn't I? What has he ever done to earn my respect? Your father seems to hold quite a grudge against you. The man's a walking gym bowl. I ain't seen him sober since he got back from the war. But the gun? Now that is a surprise. I'm really sorry. He's he's in a tough situation and the wet boot boys seen the only way out and it's not. It's a terrible situation. Admit it. You stole the drugs to prove yourself to the gang. Of course I did. The wet boot boys got it sorted. Territory, respect, money. They'll take me in now. Really? Are you sure about that? I don't see them. I was supposed to meet one of their boys to prove I'm not a loser. Maybe something happened. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I did not give you that letter. And I'm not going to give you that letter <laughs> or tell you about it. Goodbye, young man. I'm not, I'm not going to feed off of kids. So if you kill Albert, his dad actually gives up alcohol and sobers up a bit. He still has serious issues. But the shock of it m makes him better in some slight regard. Good evening, Benjamin. Can I help you? I'm afraid not, Mr. Reed. But I'm not going to... I'm not going to do that. Any news of the dispensary? Have you any news of Nurse Crane and her dispensary? Not recently. Dispensary? I keep saying it wrong. I know I'm saying it wrong. Your son wants to join the Wet Boot Boys. Did you know of your son's plans to join the Wet Boot Boys gang? Barely survived the war, just to come back and see my wife die of the flu, and my son turn into a petty thug. Yeah. You need to protect him. Protect your son, Benjamin. Don't you see? Whatever your quarrels, his salvation could be yours. According to him, everything's my fault. We've nothing left to say or to save. 
Were you sure of his guilt when you shot at him? Your suspicions concerning Albert were legitimate. But were you sure he was guilty when you shot him? Tell me the truth, Benjamin. No, I wasn't. I just went mad without realizing what I was doing. My God. I almost shot him. You had better speak to Albert. You need to clear the air. He has to understand what you endured, and you must listen to him talk about his pain. I'm afraid it's too late. I pointed a gun at him for the sake of a few pills. God, this whole situation just sucks. There's no solution to it. A gun, alcohol, and a bad temper make a terrible cocktail, sir. Goodbye for now. What's your mesmerized level, lady? Good evening. My yeah, we're not colleagues. Okay, you're level three. Goodbye, Miss Swanra. Perhaps we'll talk again. I have my eye on you. The Swanra cordial I do need to go finish that, but I really want Joe to go take a walk. Oh, did you just come out of there? Son of a... All right, we were gonna try and find out what happened to the dispensary. Oh, he didn't come to the door? Where is he? Why are there rats? I have this thirst oh, no. for blood. Where is he? Is he gone? It's still locked. This does not make me feel confident. Oh no. Why, why, where are you? Please be alive. Um, oh, there's scowls. Okay, that's fine. Here we go. I had to remember what the trolls were. There's more scales, damn it. Oh, this is no good. What the hell? Level you. Nope, nope. Don't you dare. Damn it. Oh, I don't like this. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, this is just bad. I don't like those sounds. I don't like. I don't like any of this. Oh no. I did know what I was doing when I made this choice, but I have never actually seen it play out. Oh man. Oh, please stop making that noise. All right, looks like I gotta go upstairs. Um. Uh, what? Oh, she's level 24? Oh, Lord. Oh, no. No, 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 no. What? What the hell? Oh jeez. Oh no 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 no. I'm hurting. Spill some blood here. Oh, I'm out of stamina. Get away from her. Shit. Oh. Damn. How is she, does she emit spores? 
<laughs> How? <laughs> How is that a thing? No, 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 no. Ah, oh, damn you. Okay, don't attack her when she's defending herself. Shit. <sighs> damn, this woman. All right, let's see if we can make this... Third time's the charm, right? Oh, damn. Okay, don't hit her when she blocks. Really? Did that do anything? What? Damn. I don't know why it puts me here when it auto saves at the damn door. I don't want to walk across town, thank you. All right, attempt number four, maybe? All right, let's see if we can get close to her. There we go. <laughs> can she come downstairs? Oh my god. She can come downstairs. Just just kill her. Kill her as fast as you can. Move, move, move. Here. This should not be allowed. This should not be allowed. No, 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 no. What? 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 That is. Oh. She's not making her noises anymore. I'm, I'm afraid. Wait. Did it, what? Did it count as me defeating her? It counted it? Can I open this? Yes, I can. Ah, oh, okay. So, medical voucher. Oh, that's, that's her thing, right? Yeah, it grants a free medical exam. So, did it, did we get any kind of the marker's still here. Remove. Oh, I marked it. My recent trip to Whitechapel proved to me how desperate the situation is for Lond Londoners and how they all must cope with this threat the best way they can. Causes and effects seem irredeemably intertwined. Dorothy Crane chose to steal and blackmail to gather enough money to illegally heal the poor, but I also saw her desperately try to save a dying patient in her rudimentary dispensary. In the end, we both failed saving the poor man, but I am now convinced the Spanish flu must be linked to the vampire ec epidemic. For my analysis of Rosvin's blood revealed the same highly unstable blood I've already observed on William Bishop. I should report all of these events to Dr. Swansea and ask for his medical and vampire expertise. So do we have nothing on what we just encountered? Yeah, she's gone. Where's... You're dead. I ate you. Where are you? What happened to you? You're still healthy, but I don't know where you are. That's the character I haven't found. Is 
So noth nothing on what happened at the dispensary. Okay. Basically, we chose to um, wipe her mind and that did not go well. That's what happened. That was a bad... It's locked. Bad idea. I don't know that that was worth doing, to be perfectly honest. I would hope that we could talk to somebody about it because... I don't know, this is fairly distressing. Where... Where did Darius go? 